Ruth Lang reporting for the review. I'm here at the county farm in Beloit where grain bin rescue training has been taking place today since 10 a.m. This training was made possible by a grant from the National Education Center for Agricultural Safety. Uh, Albert Johnson, the president of the fire department in Homeworth, came up with uh, a magazine article in Successful Farming to uh, apply for a grant to get a rescue tube and stuff, and he asked me if I'd write a letter and send it in. So I did, and uh, it had to be in in December. We sent it in, and sure enough, uh, January 5th, we got a call from uh, Mr. Neenan, and uh, they said, hey, you're the winner. Uh, Greg really wrote a well rounded and talked about how they would use the tube in a mutual aid situation so if other departments needed it that they would be able to respond in a mutual aid and also that they were going to take this training and then turn around and train other departments and that's what we want to do is to get the biggest reach for it that we can get. Several area departments participated in today's training. They're doing very well. You can tell that they're a department that trains. Uh, you can tell as you go out there. So they're trained in the incident command system, and they're working very well with one another. And even with the other departments, uh, the neighboring departments that are here for the training, the communication back and forth is there. And, you know, that's a great thing to have between the departments. Volunteers played the victims today in what is known as one of the most deadly farm accidents. I myself had the opportunity to participate in today's training as a victim. And let me just say, it's a position that no one wants to find themselves in. Imagine sinking as if you were in quicksand and being surrounded by tons and tons of corn. It was different. You get, you're suspecting it now, but if it was an actual situation, you'd be scared. Mm -hmm. You go up to your waist and what you feel is pressure on your legs as deep as you are. And if it was up to my chest, the more I breathed and inhaled, it would collapse my chest more. So it, it's something to learn. I do know that. I don't want it, I don't want it to happen again. The, the, the tube's about the only way you can get somebody out because you, you slowly work that down around them and vacuum out the grain to take the pressure off them so you can get them out. Because dried corn or grain is basically like quicksand. The more you struggle, the, the deeper you work down in. And they told us in class, like if you're submerged up to your chest, to take almost 1,500 pounds of force to pick someone up. So even if they're only halfway submerged in the grain, it's not a matter of just jerking them up. Their body won't stand it. So you need to encase that, encase the victim, and slowly vacuum the corn out around to free them. And, and uh, that rescue device worked very well. Thanks to today's training, several area fire departments are prepared to respond in the event of a grain bin rescue. For the Review Broadcast Team, I'm Ruth Lang.